back. Today we're going to talk about myths in the golf swing. One of the biggest mistakes I see amateurs coming to me with is that they're trying to copy images of a moving golf swing. So you have to remember when you're talking about an image, you're, there's no gravity, there's no forces that are pulling around you, and there's no speed. So a lot of times when you look at an image, that is an effect of things happening. Um, so we have to be really careful of what we're working on uh, and really know what's happening, what's actually happening in the picture. A lot of, the, a lot of times uh, we can be mistaken for is that, you know, the things aren't really there. They seem to be there, but they're not. So um, we just have to be careful of what's going on. So the first myth that we want to try to bring uh, to some light to is a left straight arm. Okay, so... Um, you know, this does a number of things, uh, but help you. Um, the, a few things that it will do is again, I see people coming to me with, I'm trying to straighten my left arm, straighten my left arm. Okay. So what happens is immediately what I see is tension. Okay. So it disrupts the motion or movement of the golf swing. And we know that we want one fluid motion through the swing. Again, there's not a top, there's a start and a finish. And we're trying to avoid tension at all costs. I would, I would tell you right now, if you're trying something new and it adds tension to your golf swing, go the other way. I always say that tension trumps technique. I would rather have a not very good looking swing, but nice and free and fluid in motion, rather than feeling like something's picture perfect, but it's loaded with tension. That won't hold up and it won't survive very long. I promise you that. So. One of the things that a straight left arm does is it locks your shoulder joint up and the other thing, it, it locks the motion up, okay? So it, it might go okay on the, on the way back, but on the, on the way down, uh, you're gonna be you know, hurting for speed. You're never gonna have any speed there. So again, what happens with a straight left arm is our left arm gets straight, okay? And all of a sudden, a lot of times people with, that are working on straight left arms, are, they're being accused of, really too short a swing or their swing looks really long okay so what ends up happening is that they're trying to keep their keep their left arm straight keep their keep their left arm straight and all of a sudden at the top of the swing their their, their swing is looking for a lever so their elbow elbow bends and then their wrist collapses up here so their swing gets really long okay so again this is one of those things where your left arm being straight is it straight um yeah, it's fairly straight, you know, I guess so, but it's an effect. It's an effect of what happens, you know, through a proper lever system and what we call whip. Okay, so those two things are producing a straight left arm, just like we talked a little bit with, with hips. You know, as our right hip moves back, as our right hip socket moves back, yes, it turns our hips. Okay, we're not trying to turn the hips, but as our socket moves back, the end result, the look, is a hip turn. Same thing here. So. Why does my left arm go straight? Well, mainly it's because of a lever system. So, if we get, get ready to go here. See, when I swing back and I push on, my, on, my, on the lever system, my left hand is, is actually kind of pushing down on the golf club, so the club starts to hinge a little bit, but my right hand is always gonna support the back of the shaft. So it's actually, when I hinge, see, my, my right hand is actually pushing on the shaft this way. And so it pushes my left arm straight, but my left arm is soft. There's no tension in it. it. It doesn't tighten up because of that. Okay. The other thing is, is that with a, you know, straight left arm, someone may be trying to get, you know, a lot of width in their golf swing. Again, tightening their shoulders up and ruining, ruining the motion of the actual swing and ruining any chance of speed, what they're trying to do. So width, just so we're clear, when you look at width, it's not from the, from the end of the golf club. It's not from the club head to my chest or body. It's from the grip to my chest or body. So if I did, if I did this and got the head way over there, okay, now you can see where the, where the grip is. Now if I add a lever system, see I'm pushing the, pushing the handle even further back, okay? So now you can see that the handle of the club is farther away from my chest. So that's where we get width. So again, your straight left arm is a product of the swing. It's a product of you having the right hinge. And then as I swing back, okay, my right arm is still pushing. As my right arm pushes and, and supports the shaft here, 
it straightens, straightens my left arm again and on the way down and at the strike. So there's multiple things while your left arm is straight. It's not something that we're trying to do. Um, so it, it, it is an effect. You know, I certainly don't want your left arm, left arm bending. You know, it won't bend because your right arm is, is pushing on the shaft a little bit, trying to get width. So just make sure that when you're working on something, you know exactly what's going on. Um, you know, make sure if, if you need help with that, you know, is it the right thing to work on or not? See, you know, myself or another PGA professional, you can add, uh, you know, a question in the comments. You can certainly send your swing uh, in, but we'll be going through this through the entire week of myths in the swing, why they occur, you know, what things that we should and shouldn't work on. Again, when you work with still positions, you know, you can, you can really be doing more harm than good because you're not factoring in the forces that are around, what's happening with gravity, you know, a fluid uh, ongoing motion. So you have to be real careful when you're working with pitchers. So again, thanks for your time. Send in your questions and comments and swings, and we'll see you next time.